A Moment of Meditation, Joy of Zion Church. Let's confess together. I am a spirit. I have a soul. I live in a body. I am a new creation. God loves me. God blesses me. God makes me righteous. God gives me peace that the world cannot give. I am grateful. I am thankful. I am delighted. I am happy. I am joyful. I am okay. I am doing good. In Christ, I am a person with overwhelming confidence to win in any situation and circumstance. I am a victor, not a victim. In Christ, I am a person who has the ability to control my inner climate, regardless of external circumstances. I am a spirit having the spirit. In Christ, I am a person who has the ability to maintain a positive attitude in a negative situation. I am blessed to be a blessing. I will never, never, never be the same again. Be alert and ready, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 to 17. We are in the closing days of the church age and we have to finish the work of the Lord gloriously before He returns. He said in Matthew chapter 24 verse 14, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. This is our charge, this is our core, and we are at it. While at it, the world will know that the name of the Lord Jesus is the name that's greater than every name, every title, and every government. We will subdue this world before the Master comes back. Our theme verse says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then the last trump will follow as the signal for our catching away. Then we which our life and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Hallelujah! Ensure not to miss it. Luke chapter 21 verse 34 says, And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that they come upon you unawares. Be alert and ready. The rapture is almost here. It's the region we are preaching the gospel, preparing the nations for that glorious day. Make no mistakes about it. It's so close, far closer than many realize. After the rapture takes place, the Bible says there shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, no ever shall be. Matthew chapter 24 verse 21. The world is going to be a terrible place to be in during the tribulation, during the reign of the Antichrist. Just said, except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Matthew chapter 24 verse 22. For seven years, particularly during the second three and a half years, the Antichrist will reign terror upon the earth. It will be a time of great misery beyond anything the world has ever seen or will ever see. But thanks be unto God, after seven years, we will come back with the Lord Jesus Christ from heaven to establish a new government of righteousness and peace for a thousand years. Hallelujah! Prayer Thank you, blessed Father, for your mighty hand upon your church in these last days and for the increased grace upon her to proclaim liberty in all the earth. I declare that your kingdom is established in the earth and in the hearts of men as we preach the gospel. Many are snatched from destruction and damnation into the glorious liberty of the sons of God. In just name, Amen. I hope so much Jesus be inside you and covers you today. Have a glorious day or have a glorious night. See you tomorrow.